Taizenza Home Craft Center was on the Rumumbi Road. And uh, with the, especially the 19, after the 1976 riots, uh, things changed. Uh, people were sporadically stoning tourists and government had to build a road that goes to the Kruger National Park via Kipazol. And the challenge was for BIC that there were no tourists coming into using the Numbi Road anymore. And they wanted to close the Kira shop. And it took the chief minister of Gangwane, Mr. Enos Mabuza, to convince them to say, sell it to her. We know there's a problem. We know she'll ever eventually collapse, but she is adamant and we can't stop her. So I had to run around uh, taking my stock to the people because indeed the tourists had dwindled. They were no more coming because uh, it was advertised that don't use that road. There's a lot of stoning. So I managed by taking the stuff to the customers and made sure that the doors are still open. But I had to divest because uh, I couldn't be on the road with three small children all the time. That's when I decided to apply for a liquor license, apply for a filling station, apply for a butchery license. Resilience is very important. You know, when I uh, left teaching, to go to Dyson's. Uh, everybody gave up on me. I had to think on my feet and make sure that whatever I do and put in Dyson's is going to be successful. And as I said, I had to give up my salary, go home without anything to eat in order to hang on there until the money from Uganda comes. So it's, you have to really develop a thick skin in order to succeed in business. Being resilient really moved my business forward because sometimes I look back from where I come from and look at the stumbling blocks. You don't have to be born in a very great house in order to be great. You don't have to be born in a rich house in order to be rich. You have to really fight for what you want to be.